Hi there, welcome to this episode of Hacker Rank series on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be designing a doormat. That's really exciting. I've got a Hacker Rank dashboard on the left side and a Jupyter notebook on the right side. Let's have a look at this challenge. So I'm just going to make this task bit a bit bigger. Mr. Vincent works in a doormat manufacturing company. One day he designed a new doormat with the following specifications. So we want to be able to get N and M. These are the two inputs that we will receive from the user. So that one should be pretty easy. I will say um, capital N and capital M. These are the two inputs that I will be receiving from the user with a space so that they will be separated by a space. In order to split them, I will use the split method. So let's have a look at this. So imagine I send seven and 21 into the machine and they will be, um, N will be seven and M will be 21. The problem is they are coming in as a string. I don't want numbers to be a string. I will need them to be numbers. All I need to do will be to use the map function, which I will be making a video on that very shortly. Um, that's one of the most important functions in Python development. And I will map the int function onto those two values. So let's do that again, seven and 21. And if I look at N, now it's a number seven. So it doesn't have those quotation marks around it. And M will change from this string to actual number of M. So let's get rid of that. This is good. So let's just quickly copy that here. This is going to be my first part of the code. So we will receive two numbers from the user. The design should have welcome written in the center. So if, for example, user gives me seven by 21, I will receive welcome in the middle. And there is this really nice doormat design overall. If the user gives me 11 and 33, there will be welcome in the middle and I will have this doormat design, which is really nice. Um, just remember that M will be three times N. For example, three times seven will be 21 and so forth. The design pattern should only use this straight mark, uh, point and hyphen characters. So let's see how we can figure this out. The most important trick to this challenge is understanding the center method in strings. I'm pretty sure you have seen one of my videos that I talk about uh, L just, R just, and center. If you have not, let me run you through how the center works. So if you have a string like this and you use center on it, you will need to assign the number of characters that you want this thing to be the center of. Say, for example, if I say I want seven characters, you will have three characters before, then what you want in the center, and three characters after. So what we want here, when I look at this design, is that I can see this is the center. So let me just copy that, put it here, and I can see that now I have put this combination in the center of my design. Well, if I want to make it, for example, 21, I will see that it sits in the middle. I've got a couple of characters here and the equal number of characters to the right. The really nice thing is that you can actually fill in these empty characters with a character that you like. So if I say fill it in with hyphen, I will get this. So I guess really quickly you can see that now I have the first line easily made. When I look at the second line, I see that, well, there is the center piece and there is an additional center piece here and an additional center piece here. So if I do this thing and put it in between brackets, let's do it like, let's do it like this. So put it in brackets and go times three. You can see that, ah, oh, ta-da, I made the second line very easily. If I do it by five, I will have the third line just made. So I guess very quickly you can see that I need a loop. It goes from one all the way to n that the user gives me, but it skips every other item because I don't want 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want 1, 3, and 5. That's what I want. So what I will do, I will just say, I want you to print whatever that I'm going to be sending to you. What is it that I'm sending? I will be sending this into the print function. And instead of 5, I will have i. And instead of 21, I will have m. Look at that. I just made the top half of this doormat. So you might wonder how we do the bottom part. It's just essentially exactly the same thing, but in the reverse order. So if I do that, but this time go from not one, go from n minus two all the way to negative one and move in the opposite direction. So um, if I run that, you will see, hey, look, I have the bottom half of the doormat. If you wonder what this looks like, just convert it to a list and you will see that what I have managed is to go from five, three to one, whereas up here I've managed to go from one, three, five. So that's why I use that formulation. Well, this is it. I just need to print welcome in the middle. So I will just add it here because that is easier. I will have to say print. And we just learned that you can put anything you want in the center of the line in the beginning and then use the center method, the length of that line, which is M here and whatever you want to fill in the rest with. I want to fill in the rest with hyphens. Look at that. I just put welcome in the middle. So if I put them all after each other, this should give me the full doormat. So I will get rid of that. Let's do it again. Let's make a bigger one. This time I want to make 15 and 45, really a big one. Do that and you will see I'm getting a really nice big doormat. Okay, so if you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Right now I copied everything over and if I run this code, you should be able to see that we did it. Yes, submit it and all the test cases will run. Great. So if you have any questions, don't be shy. Put your questions down below in the comments. I am more than happy to help you out. Thank you and goodbye.